King Carter, King Carter, King Carter, I pop. King Carter, King Carter. Yo, what's going on team IKC? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. We're going to be talking about my career move for NBA 2K15 today. This is a web series wish list, so you know we got a lot of episodes. If you haven't seen episode 1 through 4, definitely check the playlist inside the description or click on the side of my uh, recent uploads. Also, the reason why you guys are looking at me on camera is because I'm actually promoting my Twitch account today. So definitely go follow me over on Twitch. It's twitch.tv slash Carter. Or you could look inside the description for that link. The overlay that you guys are looking at will be my new face cam overlay. So this is, you know, how you're going to see me when I'm live streaming. So hope you guys like it. If you don't like it, let me know. I'll try something else. But uh, let's dive into this wish list, man. Man, I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired of 2K. Where my face mask at? Where my sleeves for my tattoos at? Where my new hairstyles at? Where my jerseys at? Where my custom jerseys? Where the alternate jerseys at? Where the historic jerseys at, 2K? Where the new wristbands, the I promise wristbands? Where the new goggles at, 2K? Where's my mouthpieces at, 2K? Can I, can I get some customization in my ish? That's all I'm saying. That's all I want. Can I get LeBron sleeve? Can I get Melo sleeve? Can I create a sleeve? Like, y'all did good with the beards. Y'all did good with the high top fade and all. That's cool. But where's the customizing your face? Why are you giving me this generic face? I don't look nothing like dude. Okay, my my player might look like me. But what about other dudes out here? I know everybody don't want to be Chris Manning. I'm just saying. Everybody don't want to be Mike Wang. I'm just saying. Can I customize my head, my jaw, my nose? Come on, I'm preaching. I have a dream. Ooh, look what iPod done started. Nah, man, we ain't gonna have no video like that, guys. Let's go over what needs to be fixed for my career. Um, the first thing is, we need a sense of realism in my career mode, man. It feels like we're now playing an arcade game with a scripted story. So a lot of guys probably have frustration because, you know, a lot of people that watch YouTube videos want to find out how their my career is going to go. But when you pick certain choices, they're thinking that literally will send you on a different path, but it does nothing besides send you to the next scene. So, you know, I just feel like, you know, with the way the scripted series is, at least build five or six different storylines. Now, I'll dive deep into that in a little bit, but uh, let's talk about the players being paid in gold. Now, in the cut scene where I was signing the contract, I was getting my check, I actually got paid in VC. That's not realistic. Now, I would love for it to say you have been awarded such and such VC, but I would have loved to see how much my contract would have been for actually getting all of those stats in the rookie showcase and how much the team actually um, entrusted in me. Now, uh... If you guys are going to keep doing this whole VC thing, VC thing, just please give us give us a little bit of realism, man. A lot of people want to know how much they're worth, not how much VC they have played for. Um, now, uh, let's talk about the MIME teammates. I know that NBA 2K14 for Next Gen was the first installment. Maybe you guys couldn't get all these uh, different teammates out for these uh, recordings, but if you look at it, every time somebody's on a certain team, they either talk to the star and talk to a player that they have a problem with. So that's only two players. I know in my, my career, I only really speak to Drew Holiday and I think it's Jason Smith. That's it. They, they are like the only two players I talk to. Um, I might have seen Anthony Davis laugh, might have seen Tyreek Evans laugh, but nobody else. And uh, also coaches. Um, we have would love to speak to uh, our real coaches. You know, the GM, everybody has the same GM. You know, like, the, the guy looks exactly the same, but, you know, it is what it is. But I just don't want my teammates. I don't want to read subtitles. I want to hear voices, real-life voices. So please get guys out. I've seen a couple uh, pictures out on Instagram from 2K with uh, the Brooklyn Nets. Uh, what was it? Brook Lopez. He was doing a little bit of voiceover work. Andre Iguodala was doing a little bit of voiceover work. So I'm, I'm hoping to God that we don't have these mime teammates in my career. Now, uh... 
I don't like the near immediate rise to stardom. Now, I know it took a whole season to get my shoe endorsement, but that was after playing every single game. We had no key game feature in my career mode, which sucks. I would love to see a key game mode, whereas though some people might either miss their cutscenes or some cutscenes wouldn't be available to you. I don't feel like guys should play the whole entire first season just so they can get all of these cutscenes. Maybe let some of the cutscenes come in their second year or third year. You know, let's say Sprite or Sprint wanted to come to you in your third year because that's when you felt like you were coming off the bench and you were going to come for that starting spot not in the first season after 20 games now uh let's talk about the accessories for a moment because when you're talking about my career you have to talk about the my player store and the my player wardrobe um i don't feel like guys should pay for different colorways for accessories if you buy one accessory you should be able to change all the colors on that accessory because it, it's like it's like you're basically saying to us yeah you have a drawer full of bands and full of wristbands and, and sleeves and you got to pay for every single one like come on when, when you think about it, it is a game and i know you guys want guys to purchase vc but that's just a cheap way of saying you know just give us your money real quick so you can purchase these things come on 2k can't be doing that to us out here um next thing with everybody having the exact same storyline from rising from the street courts to the nba i don't think it should be like that if you guys aren't going to make a college game, in which I'm all for, you can make a college game if you wish, I'm, I'm all for it, you know, get the license, you know, get the, get the paper together and do it, but if you guys aren't going to make a college game, please bring back the draft combine, the summer league, training camp, and the D league. I would like to see different storylines. Let's, let's, let's say for instance... You got a guy coming out of college as the top 10 in college in his position. He comes to the draft combine and he's being rolled by every person in the draft combine to be better, to be the best. And in the summer league, he has to show that he's the best. And if he doesn't get that right criteria, he has to go through a, a, a aggressive training camp with a whole bunch of teams that he's not all for. And then if he doesn't end up making it, guess what he has to do? He has to go to the D League. He has to develop. I would love to see storylines like that. I would love to see where a guy was the number one in the league, bombed in the uh, draft combine, but he showed up in the summer league. Whereas though you know he might have been, oh well, he he was so so in the draft combine. People thought he wasn't ready, but when the summer league came, he showed up and showed out. And then when he started doing training camps with, with other different teams. It was like, oh, this guy is definitely number one. He deserves it. And, you know, that's when those magical LeBron shoe deals before you even step on the court happen. I could understand that because that has happened in real life. You feel me? A, a, a person has gotten a shoe deal before he stepped on the court. But, you know, that's just me. Um, Next thing. The whole real money aspect, uh, you know, I already told you guys about that, but let's see some some actual check pictures. Like, let's let's see like a picture pop on on the screen with your signature and like the GM signature and stuff. Like, I, I would love to see like different things like that because the endorsements are kind of redundant. You know, we always have the same type of endorsements every year, and I want to see more endorsements. I want to see more graphical array and stuff like that. With when you go to that my career tab, um, let's see. Spending money on things that only cost money, like for for instance, why why should we pay to alter one shot release and stuff like that? Like, 2K, I know you want the VC and everything, but if if it was that deep, how about you add up all the jump shots and how much they cost, add it up to one big number, and cut it in half and say, here, if you buy this, you can have anyone's jump shot, and that's it, because. At the end of the day, a person will buy a jump shot and then change it and then never will use that other jump shot ever again, but they paid for it, but it was like they paid for it for nothing because it might not have worked out. You know, and if you're and if you're gonna make everybody pay for it, why not have an alternate way to say, well, you can create their jump shot inside the shot releases and, and, and jump base to where it might not be perfect, but it feels similar. 
that's that's the way that's the way that I'm thinking. You know, I I don't know. I don't know if guys are on the same page that I am, but you know. Um, also, please, I, I I know I stressed on this earlier, but please do not let us have the starting position after 20 games. Please, just just don't have it in there no more. Please don't have it in there no more. And to piggyback off that, I am tired of guys buying 99. Literally, first game, they're 99. Mind you, they're not being guarded. Most likely, they're playing on pro in a rookie showcase, and they're and they're already a 99. Guys have already brought their players to a 99, stepping on the blacktop, 99, all deep, new D roses, new Jordans, all of that. Come on, 2K, you gotta stop. You gotta stop. If if people are playing my career, they should upgrade their stats with skill points. It's plain and simple. You should separate skill points and VC. How about VC is for beating the social uh, media joint, meeting your goals and stuff like that. But when it comes to gameplay of you having a great game, you having highlight uh, plays and stuff like that, that's skill points. That's not VC. That's not what it should be. You feel me? I feel like VC should be something that was a challenge in the game. Uh, I don't know how many times I got to say it. Something that was a challenge, such as the media, social media joint, and you, when the coach says, do this, and you meet that dynamic goal, that could be for VC. Not not both. It, it, it just doesn't make any sense. Guys are 99 out the gate. It makes no sense. Like, VC for should be for purchasing clothes, shoes, jewelry, accessories, suits. Period. That's all I'm going to say. Um, now, next thing. Um, we need the ability to change one's number for their jersey. Like, I, I know me, for instance, I'm going to always be number 15. I know it's a retired number on teams that I love going to, but people want to change their number. Some people might change number one, then 99, then three, and then, you know, they might want to change the six and 24, stuff like that. They want to change it to their favorite player number. That'd be dope, you know. Um, also... After being signed to a team or traded, some people number actually change automatically, and they can't even change it. So, where's 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 the ability to do that? Like, <laughs> please, 2K. Also, to piggyback off of changing somebody's jersey number, we need the ability to change to alternate jerseys or historic jerseys. We, how many times are we gonna say this, 2K, for my career mode every year? Please give us the power to change our jerseys. Please. The next thing. I need people to, like, like for instance, um, it, even if you don't give us the ability to change somebody's jersey, do you ever notice in the NBA where if something go, goes on, like, Sunday night alternates or something like that, how about 2K recognizes that and actually changes our jerseys for us? How about that? If you if you guys can't give us the option, and which I know you guys can, if you can give us the option, can you please at least let the game recognize when we can wear alternate jerseys or historic day jerseys or something like that, please? I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, that's all. Now, uh, the next thing I want to uh, talk about is the uh, items in progression, right? Now, say for instance, like, you get your shoe deal and, like, all the Jordan shoes are available for free, right? Now, with progression should come unlocking shoes. Does anybody notice when you sign with a certain shoe, you can't wear other shoes? So why not unlock Reebok, you know, Spalding and, and uh, what is that, Under Armour sneakers as you progress in the league? Like, say you play, it's an award after playing 20 games in the league, boom, Reebok. 50 games in the league, boom, Under Armour. 60 games in the league played boom something something else something like that give us progression for items that we need to unlock because not not being able to wear a nike shoe when you're signed with jordan makes no sense same company that's all i'm saying that's all i'm saying um also the clothing and the pricing for the my player store um, we've gotten a, a few different new clothes and stuff like that, but they always add in new jerseys and stuff like that. How about giving us new clothes, new street gear and stuff like that? And plus, fix the pricing, like, 2K. Why we gotta pay 5,000 VC for a shirt or something like that? Like, and... <laughs> And some of the shoes, the shoe pricing is, is crazy. If you don't got a deal, you got to pay, I think, like 
7500 VC to wear one pair of shoes? Like how about how about giving us the power to buy the entire brand for at least a discounted price? Like I'm not even gonna say add up all the shoes and cut it in half. You might have to add up all the shoes and cut it one fourth. Like give us one fourth of that total price. Like come on, you're killing us with our pockets is hurting, man. Um, how about uh, fine tuning the dynamic goals? Right now, you guys have done a great job with the teammate grade awards and all of that, and punishing players when certain things happen. In which there also are problems where a person might jump for a double jump for a block that gives them a bad grade, or they jump the lane instead of uh, swiping at the ball and it says bad. Uh, I think it's like steal attempt or something like that, or they might have you know try to take a charge and then take it back, but the player might not even be near them. And it'll still give you a bad take charge call when the player ain't even out the backcourt yet. But all I'm saying is, um, the quality, like say for instance, um, take only quality shots in a quarter, right? And you're shooting 90% from the field for three quarters. Why would you tell us to not shoot bad? We're already shooting good. There's no reason for you to give us a dynamic goal to say, don't get a bad a bad shot selection for the rest of the quarter when for three quarters we've been shooting 90 percent how about you say after shooting so good and you don't have that many assists how about not getting a turnover for the quarter because now you're probably looking like i don't need to score much anymore let me work on my passing which a lot of players do they say oh man i got 60 points only got two assists and i got one quarter left all right let me start passing more like that's that's what you should fine tune the dynamic goals um also when your coach tells you a dynamic goal and you actually do the dynamic goal but you foul out of the game they should still give you the reward points because i played up against russell westbrook it was a game where I had to show him who was better. I outscored him, but I fouled out. Now, it didn't give me the dynamic goal, but in the social media, it told me that, oh, it was so great that you scored 60 points. But people said, how is an iPod King Carter going to show up for the game against Russell Westbrook? I'm like, that doesn't make any sense. That, that doesn't make any sense. Now, uh, let's, let's talk about integrating true coaching. Now, a lot of people might not understand, but... If you want to advance your basketball education, I feel like in my career, each coach should be teaching his offense and defensive systems in practice or practice mode. Can we get a practice mode, please? That's all I'm saying. Now, you need to learn whether or not your coach wants you to fight over top of a screen or switch during pick and rolls because you don't know what type of point of emphasis is actually going to work out. So, to improve its cohesiveness, you would need to tell the coaches to give you more legitimate plays on the offense and defensive side of the course. Because if you ever notice, if you turn on all play calls, the coach will usually call the same play 10 to 12 times until it doesn't work anymore. Or until you call like a, uh, what is it, uh, isolation play or a post-up move. But other than that, He'll call the same play. So I just feel like true coaching needs to be integrated. Now, uh, also, in my career, do you ever notice that it's more of a story about yourself than the team itself? Now, we need to highlight more major team moments. Like, for instance, the off-court interactions with the teammates is cool, right? You know, like the locker rooms and stuff like that. But my career always seems to skip the biggest parts of the game. Like, for instance, trades, injuries, they go by without even letting you know that they have happened. Like, a prompt doesn't pop, pop up on the screen saying, uh, Eric Gordon has been traded to such and such for such and such. Like, that doesn't happen. Like, I remember I lost Austin Rivers and I lost, uh, I think, Aminu, and I didn't even know. Like, it just so happened Bellinelli popped up on the court, and I was like, where in the hell did he come from? And I had to actually check the stats in the uh, intera in transactions after that. And so also, you know, it should be something where cut scenes should happen within a locker room from the coach and the GM or whatever coaching staff is there so that, you know, it, it'll be nice to say, hey, 
um, Stizma is injured, or for instance, in my my career, Ryan Anderson was injured for a certain amount of weeks, and they should come up to the players and say, "Hey guys, you know, we want to make sure you guys wish your team made a speedy recovery and stuff like, like that." You know, some real life stuff. You know, that's I just want more realism. So you know, that's how it is. Um, let's talk about social media. Um, let us actually tweet back or you know reply back to some of the social media stuff that goes on in my career because it seems like it's a one-way street you know it would be great to you know uh tweet back about certain challenges from other players like say for instance somebody challenged me to dunk on them twice hopefully i can you know i can reply and say yeah i dunked on you twice what you gonna do about the next game or something like that you know not you won't have to curse and get vulgar and all of that just give us some choices you know like a like a multiple choice uh, one choice could be, hey, it was a great game. Um, second, what are you gonna do next game? Hey, you, you you definitely guarded me nice, but you know I got you. I got one over on you. Or give them a cocky one, like you guys can't hold me. I destroyed your team. You know something like that. Give us multiple choice. You know, you know uh, it could be like congratulations or some hostile hostile joints. That's all. You know. Um, also, um, have your teammates learn fundamental gameplay like when i'm playing a game it seems like i'm doing everything like guys are leaving people over for three they're not boxing out they're letting their man into the paint with ease it seems like once one or two moves are done everybody gets stuck whether they're a computer or a, a individual like it doesn't matter it seems to happen to everyone now um i'm not sure if i'm missing anything let me see. Oh, let's talk about the menu system. Oh, my God. I can't believe I already missed, almost missed this. The menu system for my career sucks. The part should not, and I mean should not be in my career. It should have its own thing like my team or whatever, and that they should just automatically take that out. Um, looking at stats, awards, you know, um, my career endorsements, everything, everything is so jumbled up and it's things that you can't find until this day. I don't know who the rookie of the week was player of the week, rookie of the month, player of the month. And I don't know. I know that I did win MVP because of an endorsement, but I didn't know who was in the running. I didn't know who was in the running for the all-star game. I didn't know if I was going to be a reserve, if I was going to be a starter. I didn't know nothing. I could not find it. So please, 2K, go back to the drawing board. Give us our old dynamic menu system back where all you had to do is click a, click your uh, right stick or left stick. And one menu will pop up. Then you'll have this, the sub menus. And you could just go into it like that because just having that one long bar up at the top and then you got to scroll through and see if you can find it, it, it just it makes no sense. 2K, it, it, it makes none. But um, if there are any things that you guys want to talk about, leave it in the comment section. Um, I know I probably missed a few things, but those are like the main points for me. Um, I hope you guys like the video. Make sure you leave a thumbs up. And I will holler at you guys in the next video. We're going to be talking about uh, my team. Now, for all the guys that want crew back, my crew, that's going to get its own video. All right? But I'm going to holler at y'all, man. This is IKC signing out. Peace. Year. This is Siri. Thank you for watching and be sure to like this video. For more videos from this particular mode, click more videos. If you want to see more content from IKC, click subscribe. Oh, and don't forget to follow IKC on Twitter and to like his Facebook page. This is Siri signing out. Peace.